good afternoon dear students in the last lecture we have discussed about selection of clones like the methods uh, which we discussed were insertional inactivation of marker gene then blue white selection theory plaque phenotype okay now today we are going to discuss other methods of selection of clones rather we can call them indirect method of selection of clones now what are those number 1 colony hybridization technique okay after the growth of transformed cells has taken place on nutrient medium it is likely that few cells may have the specific dna okay that means the recombinant dna the gene to be cloned the foreign dna must be present okay may be present in only few cells now we have to identify that cell which contains the desired dna or foreign dna okay among the several thousand cells so to pick those cells which have the desired dna sequence colony hybridization technique was developed by gristin and hognes in the year 1975 we follow this method when the plasmid is not having can say two or more selective marker gene if your plasmid is not having selective marker gene then you cannot identify them in by insertional inactivation of marker gene so in that case we have to adopt for other methods say for example colony hybridization technique okay the desired clones with recombinant dna that means the cells that contain recombinant dna are identified by use of probes in hybridization okay we use here probes and hybridization technique is used now what is a dna probe a dna probe is a radioactive labeled oligonucleotide sequence okay which radioisotope most of the time p32 radioisotope labeled it's an oligonucleotide having say 2 to 10 nucleotides and what does the probe contain the probe has a sequence complementary to at least one part of the desired dna that you are going to isolate okay now let us discuss the procedure for colony hybridization technique now the, the procedure for colony hybridization technique first involves step number 1 the bacterial cells are subjected to transformation okay and they are placed in a or they are allowed to grow on a suitable medium this plate in which the bacterial cells have grown which we call as transformed cell which we assume they are transformed cell okay they are allowed to grow on a plate and when the colony is developed on the plate the plate is called as a master plate now with the help of a uh, you can say replica block tied with velvet cloth we have to prepare a replica plate of this master plate the colonies of the master plate are replica plated where on a nitrocellulose filter membrane which is placed on agar medium okay so the colonies on master plate are replica plated or transferred on a nitrocellulose membrane which is placed on agar medium the master plate is is to be kept carefully aside or intact for future use or later identification now the second plate where the nitrocellulose membrane has colonies from the master plate is incubated then colonies will develop on nitrocellulose filter membrane this nitrocellulose filter membrane is removed from agar then it is treated with 0.4 normal naoh that it is treated with alkali so that the bacterial cells are lysed okay see colonies which are present on master plate exactly same colonies with same position develop on nitrocellulose membrane the nitrocellulose filter membrane is treated with alkali especially 0.4 normal 0.4 normal naoh why to lyse the bacterial cells so that the dna comes out the filter is then treated with proteinase k enzyme to digest the proteins then the denatured dna remains bound to the filter so we lyse the cell we denature the proteins and such that the dna fragments remain attached to the nitrocellulose at the place of the colony itself they remain bound this filter is then neutralized by tris edta tris hcl buffer okay by maintaining high salt concentration so filter is to be treated with proteinase k to digest and remove the proteins then the denatured dna 
uh, is, remains bound. Thus, the DNA binds to the nitrocellulose filter in the same pattern as the bacterial colonies. This filter disc is baked at 80 degree Celsius. Okay, we have to bake the filter, heat the filter at 80 degree so that the DNA remains fixed in the position of the colonies itself. Okay, so after baking the DNA gets fixed on the nitrocellulose membrane. Now this nitrocellulose membrane is then incubated or it is kept in a solution which contains radio labeled probes which contain radio labeled probe what is a radio labeled probe we a dna sequence which is an oligonucleotide having p32 labeled uh, uh, radioisotope and it contains a sequence complementary to the desired dna one part of the desired dna now the probe will hybridize with that dna which contains sequence complementary to the Probe. So, what you do first, grow the colonies, transfer the colonies on nitrocellulose, then lyse the bacterial cell by giving alkali treatment, then uh, you, can, you have to uh, remove the proteins, uh, allow the DNA to remain attached to the membrane, then bake, okay, so that the DNA attaches. Now, you have to incubate this DNA with, uh, D, I mean, uh, DNA of the colonies with DNA probe. Okay, DNA probe will hybridize with that DNA which contains complementary sequence to the probe. The unhybridized probes are removed by repeated washing. The colonies whose DNA hybridize with the probe are directed, are, are, can be detected by autoradiography of nitrocellulose filter membrane. Okay, so once you have incubated your filter, Having the DNA with DNA probe, you have to perform autoradiography. Okay, Ex expose it to X-rays. After autoradiography, you can see spots at the place where the uh, DNA probe has hybridized with the DNA of the colony. So, you can easily detect the hybrids. Only those colonies which develop X-ray image, that is autoradiograph, are compared with the master plate and picked up and multiplied on nutrient medium for further use okay so with which dna the probe will hybridize it will hybridize with that dna which contain the uh, you can say a foreign dna the probe will hybridize with the foreign dna gene of interest clones of interest so you have a replica plate you have a first a master plate you can see in this diagram you have a master plate then the master plate is a replica plated on nitrocellulose membrane and then um, <clears throat> the nitrocellulose membrane is given all treatment lysis with NaOH, proteinase K treatment, then uh, neutralization by trace HCl buffer, then baking and DNA uh, remains, DNA of the colonies remain attached with this plate and then you perform autoradiography so that you get x-ray image. Now the colony that is formed after autoradiograph the black colored spot is compared with that on the master plate. You can see here a black spot on the x-ray film and compare it with that of the master plate so that you can identify the colony. Okay here more simplified you have a master plate Okay, it is replica plated on nitrocellulose filter membrane, kept on agar plate, remove the filter, lyse the bacteria with NaOH, denature the DNA, digest the protein, bake. You will have filter, DNA, filter with DNA print. You have to hybridize it with P32 DNA probe and perform autoradiography. You can see X-ray image of two, only uh, two colonies. That means the probe has hybridized with only two type of DNA. What? Those, these are the cells. Now, this master... Uh, Autoradiograph is compared with the master plate. Okay. And select the colonies from the master plate showing dark spot on x-ray image. These are the colonies which have, which have recombinant DNA inside them. And then those colonies are selected and they are grown for further use. So compared with the master plate, particular colonies are identified, further grown on nutrient agar for future use. This is colony hybridization technique. The next method is screening by immunological assay okay, or immunochemical assay. Immunochemical assay, this is another method. Again, uh, this method of cloning, selection of clones is used when your vector does not have 
two or more marker genes to be ident to identify the foreign DNA inserted inside it. So immunological assay method works on the principle of antigen antibody reaction. It is used when the foreign DNA inserted into the vector is having only one marker gene or no marker genes at all. For this, the foreign DNA should first express and produce antigenic protein. So, if the foreign DNA is inserted inside the vector and the vector is allowed to enter inside a cell and the cell undergoes transformation, then the transformed cell must produce the antigenic protein. This antigenic protein is actually absent in the host cell and this is especially used for screening of gene library. Okay, he, these are the, this method is based on antigen antibodies reaction. What are the steps? The clones from the library, first they are grown on master plate. In replica plating of the master plate is done on nitrocellulose membrane. The bacterial colonies on the membrane are lysed by exposing them to chloroform vapors so that the proteins are released. Here we are going to identify the proteins. Okay. So, grow, uh, grow the cell, you have a master plate, transfer the colonies of master plate on nitrocellulose membrane. Then nitrocellulose membrane is treated with exposed to chloroform vapors, bacterial cells are lysed and we get the proteins. This membrane is now treated with antibodies that are the antibodies against the antigenic protein. Okay, that is produced by the gene of interest, the foreign gene present inside the vector will produce an antigen or a protein. To identify this protein, we add a antibody to the, uh, on the surface of the nitrocellulose filter membrane. Okay, so the membrane is treated with antibody which against antigenic protein coded by the target gene, by the foreign gene. This antibody is called as primary antibody. Now, the membrane is washed to remove the unbound antibody. Membrane is now treated with secondary antibody specific to the primary antibody. Okay, that means anti-antibodies. The secondary antibody is either enzyme labeled or it may be radio labeled. If your secondary enzyme is, uh, secondary antibody is enzyme labeled, then you have to add a substrate and check the color reaction. If your secondary antibody is radio labeled, then you have to perform, expose it to x-rays or perform autoradiography. Okay. Now the membrane is washed. So first the membrane is treated with primary antibodies. Okay, this uh, antibody, if the antigen, antigenic protein is produced, it will combine with the antigen to form antigen antibody complex. You wash the membrane to remove unbound antibody. Now you add secondary antibody which are either tagged with enzymes or which are either radio labeled. Membrane is again washed and in, uh, washed after incubation to remove unbound secondary antibodies. The membrane is now incubated with a suitable substrate. If your secondary antibody is enzyme labeled, you add a substrate. Right. Now the enzyme which is present on the secondary antibody will break the substrate and form a colored product. The colored product accumulate at the site of the reaction. See, if your cell has produced the antigen. Okay. Antigen that is produced by foreign gene which is inserted inside the cell clon cloning organism. So, if the foreign gene expresses and produce the antigen, it will combine with primary antibody. Primary antibody will combine with secondary antibody. Secondary antibody is enzyme labeled. Unbound antibodies are removed by washing. So, anti unbound antibodies are not present. Right. Now, the secondary antibody is enzyme labeled. Now, you add a substrate. So, the enzyme will combine with the substrate or break the substrate and form a colored product. But the colored product will be formed at the, as a spot at the point where antigen antibody complex is formed okay so the colored product accumulates at the site of reaction that is at the site of antigen antibody reaction the place the position where the colored product accumulate is the position where gene of interest is present that means foreign gene is present this corresponding colony now you compare the spot on the nitrocellulose membrane colored spot on the nitrocellulose membrane with that of the master plate okay and the corresponding colony on the master plate is picked Okay, as a colony that is formed by recombinant cell or desired clone and then you use it for further production of the antigenic protein. But if your secondary antibody is radio labeled, then the membrane is exposed to photographic film that means x-ray image is produced. Blackening of the film, formation of a black spot indicate the position of the clone of interest. This method is called as radio immunoassay. Okay, now let us see the 
डायग्रामेटिक एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ